Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. In this video, I'm going to show you the most important mock that I've ever designed and every Lego city needs to have a version of this. Every custom Lego city has a police station, fire station, hospital, diner. You can have all those cool buildings for your minifigs but the most important thing they need regardless of their occupation, their age, their gender is that they require good public toilets. So to do my civic duty to the LEGO City community, I present to you this LEGO public toilet mock. This particular build is built on a 16 by 16 stud base plate. I know space is always valuable in a LEGO City regardless of the size of your city. So I just kept it small. It's basically one quarter the size of an expert modular building. And if you want to see a step-by-step -step process of how I built this particular public toilet, do check out the video where I built it from start to finish and you can check out the link in the card above or the description below. I have made some changes since that video, I've made it better and I'll show you all the little details in this particular video. First, let's give you a look at the exterior of the build. You can see that this is both a male and female toilet. That is, if you want to go to the female toilet, you go to this side over here. And if you want to go to the male toilet, you go to this side over here. This is a public sink, as you can see. There are two taps and those represent liquid soap. And we've got some paper towel dispensers over here. I changed this from a straight one by six brick to this arch which looks much better in my opinion. Now if you go around this is actually a very simple build in the sense that it is a rectangle and there's two stud space in the front and at the back. What I've added since the last video is all this piping. One set of pipes from here and one set of pipes over here. The other thing I also added is the water tank at the top which I'll show you in just a bit. Overall, I think this works as a public restroom. It can't be too fancy. After all, most public restrooms aren't that fancy. But I thought I'll give it a nice little slope roof in front in this dark maroon and brown color just to give it some visual texture. Well, let's have a look at the top of the build and inside right now. Here's a top view of the mock. What I did was to add this water tank with piping and there's also an outlet tap over here that flows into a pair of grills and this water tank was suggested to me by Annie from Small Brick City so she felt it was important to have a water tank with some kind of piping down to the toilet and I think it really adds to the overall build. I made the cover be attached with jumper plates so that you can actually see the inside of the tank and we've got some trans blue studs to represent water. For the roof itself it's pretty simple we've got uh, a slope technique over here I wouldn't even call it a technique but just a basic design just to give it a bit of dimension other than that it's pretty straightforward. Now let's have a look inside by removing the roof because it is a modular style build and remember based on our sign the right side of the build uh, refers to the female toilet and this side refers to the male let's have a look at the male toilet first now there's only one cubicle it is actually smaller than the female toilet there's only one cubicle and that's because there's a urinal over here let's have a look at the cubicle first and you can see there's a toilet bowl and the water tank is actually built into the wall. So all the plumbing is built into the wall. And this is a good safe, safe uh, space saving technique. If I were to build it one stud out, it would feel a bit cramped. Now, could I move everything by one stud forward? The problem would be the doors won't open fully. As you can see already here, it's not full. It's barely enough uh, to fit. And because I'm working with such a small space, I need to maximize space as much as I can. So that's why I built the water tank of the toilet into the wall. So just assume the plumbing is there. And that's why you see the flush, that's that stud over there. That's the flush system. And that white round brick refers to the toilet roll. And over here, we have a ventilation unit. In fact, I have a ventilation unit for each cubicle, which I think is really important so that minifigs don't die inside the public toilet from the foul smell. Now let's have a look on the outside and that's the urinal. And we'll open the main door so you can have a look over here. This particular design uh, belongs to Daryl from Bevan's Bricks. Do check out the link in the card above or the description below. And I modified it 
ever so slightly because he built it as a single self-contained unit which you can attach to the, the wall but I've actually got a bracket built into my wall so I built this unit directly onto the bracket and that's important because it just gives about half a stud more space which is very important because as you can see it's really cramped as well so that's the uh, male toilet let's go to the female toilet and there seems to be a commotion going on in fact it's empty at the moment because it's actually wee hours uh, in the morning so the janitor is cleaning up let's have a look at him he's got basically a look of shock in his face now let's see what he's seeing and it seems that someone has made a big mess in the toilet there seems to be brown stuff inside the toilet on the seat on the ground and a puddle of yellow stuff on the ground it looks like a big mess uh, too bad for the janitor but let's have a look uh, at the toilet while we're at it so that's a toilet and that's exactly the same as the male toilet of course the male toilet is pristine and clean not like this one over here this cubicle over here has a squatting style toilet and this is common in Asia particularly Southeast Asia and China as well, not so much in uh, Japan, but it's a squatting style toilet. So it's not your traditional seat. You have gotta imagine it's like a latrine. If you haven't seen this before, you might be shocked, but it is common in this part of the world. And I thought I'd just put it in for visual variety. But of course, if you're building your own set of public toilets, you might want to just have them all regular toilet bowls. But once again, uh, those are the ventilation units. And if we close the door over here, we look inside here, there's some posters uh, on two sides, uh, that's some newspaper articles, I guess just announcements. And we've got some janitorial cleaning equipment uh, on the wall right over there. And that's basically it for the interior of the toilet. I hope you enjoyed this public toilet mock. Once again, if you do want to see how different parts are put together, do check out the video in the link in the description. And that's why I built this particular mock from start to finish. Save some of the improvements, such as the changes to the urinal, this curved arch piece, and the piping and the water tank on the roof. Well, it's time to get out of here, just like the janitor. He looks like he's running for his life. He's probably quit his job. But do let me know which is the favorite part of this mock and let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.